part of Splatoon 3's potential comes from the variety of subs and specials that we already have in the game prior to launch. This means that we could see a ton of different kits for these weapons as time goes on. So I, I, I want to I share the ones that I think would be fun. I wanted to try and keep them fair. So hopefully you like what I picked. Following the rules of Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2, if a weapon kit has already been confirmed for a weapon somewhere else, I'm not including it as an option here. We'll start with the sloshers, specifically the tri-slosher. We've seen what it looks like, but not what kits it's got. I think it'd be very fun to bring back the splat bomb that it had in Splatoon 2, but also give it the zip caster, because hey, you're pretty much going in the faces of your opponents with this, and the tri-slosher kills very quick when it has the advantage. For the slosher, I think it'd be fun to give it the angle shooter. Give it that little bit of chip damage that it needs to finish off a kill, and also give it a crab, like the Splatoon 2 baller. Now, I love the sloshing machine. I think it'd be very fun to give it a kit where it forces opponents to constantly move around. So why not give it a bomb, like the Splat Bomb, a bomb that it only had on its Machine Neo kit in Splatoon 2, and give it the Wave Breaker, so opponents can't stay still when they're near the sloshing machine. We got our buddy, the Blob Blobber! And I want to make the Blob Blobber as annoying as possible without making it have to go in. So we're gonna give the Blob Blobber an auto bomb, and we're gonna give the Blob Blobber the crab. That way, the Blob Blobber can cause lots of problems and lob those lawful blobs without ever having to really get too close. Yay! Explosher? Same reasoning as the Slosher. Angle Shooter lets it get that extra tip damage it's looking for, and Wave Breaker is gonna make opponents not, not have a fun time. <laughs> make a move everywhere. Alright, and now we got the regular old guns, our shooter class. I'll start out with the junior. Something that drives me crazy as a junior is when people just kind of walk away before I can finish, you know, killing them. So, bang, angle shooter, finish the job. Also find where people go. And then, you know what? We're keeping the ink storm from Splatoon 2. Because I feel like that paint has been really helpful not only to me, but also to my teammates. For the splatter shot, I really just want to see the original Burst Bomb Ink Strike combo come back from Splatoon 1. So now it's got Burst Bomb and Triple Ink Strike. Similar reasoning goes into why I'm using the 52 gal with the Angle Shooter and the Triple Ink Strike. Angle Shooter for Reach, Triple Ink Strike because Splatoon 1 Ink Strike fun with 52. <laughs> The 96 gal loves having wall, it's very useful for the 96 so it has plenty of time to hit opponents, and reef slider is a weapon that I feel like the 96 could take advantage of. If you don't blow up your opponents with the reef slider, you have the distance required to get them before they get you. Every instance of aerospray needs to have a dumb painting kit. So this aerospray is having sprinkler and triple ink strike so you can paint literally everything. Have fun in Terraform with this one. As I love Jet Squelcher, I gotta give it Burst Bomb. It combos basically so well with the weapon. And Tacticooler is great not only for yourself, but also for your teammates. Also, as a Jet Squelcher player, if you need to like move away from someone trying to flank you, why not be even faster with the Tacticooler buffs? We're gonna give this splash o -matic some reach by giving it a Suction Bomb to get opponents that are far away, and the Ink Storm, just so it can constantly say, Hey, I got Turf. Do you remember that? I'm a splash. <laughs> With sploosh, I think giving it torpedo would just be funny because not only do you get the chip damage, but it's gonna let those sploosh players like chase down their foes even easier than ever. And Zipcaster is just the given. If you fly into somebody with the Zipcaster and the sploosh, that sploosh is probably getting the kill. It's great. This Enzap is a Enzap that has some survivability built into it. Not only can you paint, but you can also use Ultra Stamp to get out of a bad situation. Bada bing, bada boom. Splattershot Pro just feels like the long ranger that wouldn't overuse missile. And then Splat Bomb is just a weapon that has always comboed very well with it. We got the semi-automatics. Starting with the L3, Burst Bomb just always has worked very well with it. And I feel like it would have a lot of fun with the Reef Slider. Just like the 96, blow up, don't hit your opponents. Shoot him because you have the space to do so. The H3 would love the kit that the Pro is getting. Honestly, Angle Shooter Crab works just as well with H3 as it does with Pro. It'll also give H3 a little more staying power in a fight with that Crab. Squeezer is a weapon with two different functions. It can fight in close range, it can fight in far range. So give it the Splat Bomb for those close range fights, and give it the Inkjet so when it's already far away, it can just keep being a problem. 
And now roller time. So carbon roller. Carbon roller loves burst bomb. We can't can't take it away from it. And I just feel like Booyah Bomb would just be fun. Carbon can't paint too well, so why not give it a special to fix that a bit? When it comes to the splat roller, you can't tell me that you wouldn't have fun using the reef slider on this. You can reach, and if you can't, you can run away and wall. The Kensa Dynamo Roller in Splatoon 2 really worked well with Booyah Bomb, so I think it could keep it. On top of that, we can give this one Curling Bomb just so it can escape easy peasy lemon squeezy. Giving Flingzer Roller the triple ink strike will allow it to quickly use its special and get right back into the fray, as a roller should. And then Splat Bomb is just for that extra damage. And of course, we need a couple of kits for our brushes, right? With the ink brush, Splat Bomb is just fun for it. Roll the bomb ahead, get some people out of hiding, hit them with your brush. See people around and in a bad spot? Whip out the Ultra Stamp! I believe Octo Brush can live those same dreams as the Roller, and really deserves the Reef Slider to be a little bit silly. The Curling Bomb is for movement, as well as escaping a bad situation. On the regular old blaster, you can't tell me it wouldn't be fun to track opponents with Torpedo, or take advantage of the Zipcaster to fly straight up to opponents for a great direct. The Rapid Blaster could use Suction Bomb to do chip damage, but also could stay inside of its big bubbler to cause problems where it can't be reached. A Rapid Pro kit of Wall and Wave Breaker really wouldn't put too much paint on the ground, but it would be a fantastic support kit, as well as be very annoying to fight against. For the Range Blaster, Splat Bomb is great for both chip damage and to force people out of hiding, and Reef Slider is just fun for it. Ride in with the Reef Slider, and then just get rid of anybody that runs away! Also, it's basically the Splatoon 1 Custom Range Blaster kit, so I can't help it. <laughs> the Luna Blaster has always performed well with Splat Bomb in the past, and just like the regular Blaster, I feel like it would benefit a lot from being able to zip cast in, get a quick kill, and then hop right out. Ah, Clash Blaster. It had Burst Bomb for a couple of days in like, one little preview and then lost it, so I'm giving Clash Blaster Burst Bomb back. And then I'm giving it Big Bubbler so it can just stand inside the bubbler and hit people and have no problems at all. <laughs> Ooh, Charger time! We got the Bamboozler. I think Auto Bomb would be fun for Bamboozler. Bamboozler's never had Auto Bomb. It would be great for tracking opponents as well as for doing that little bit of extra damage. And Triple Ink Strike gives it that Splatoon 1 feel. Also, it's just great for forcing people out of hiding. I really wanted to make a more defensive Splat Charger kit. So we have Sprinkler to make sure we keep some paint on the ground, and Tactic Cooler to help you and your teammates move around as needed. On the other hand, our Squiffer is going full aggro fresh Squiffer vibes. We get the Suction Bomb for some big old damage, and Triple Ink Strike just to get people away from wherever they are. Uh, I know Nintendo will never give E-Leader a Burst Bomb again, but why not Angle Shooter? It still does a bit of chip damage, and then you don't even have to charge your E-Leader up all the way to kill! And Rain is just fun. I feel like Rain was always pretty good for E-Leader. Let's put the fun and functionality for Gootuber by giving it the Suction Bomb for big damage, as well as a big bubbler so it can help out its teammates. Also, you can charge your shots up safely and easily inside that big bubbler. Alright, now we go to Splatlings. First, we have the Ball Point. I think the Ball Point would like Auto Bomb. It's never had Auto Bomb before, and Auto Bomb automatically gives away the location of any nearby enemies. Pretty useful. Also, Ink Storm is great for painting an area as well as forcing people out of hiding. Again, with the Auto Bomb. Splash Wall on Heavy Splatling is just so good. <laughs> just hide behind the wall and just fire away. When you're ready to do stuff, pop out the Killer Whale and finish your opponents off. For the Hydra Splatling, let the Angle Shooter finish off an opponent that you didn't get before your charge was done. And if you end up in a bad situation, just use the Crab Tank to attack your opponents or to make your escape. The Crab Tank will also be great for stopping flanks before they get you. I'm going to give the Mini Splatling back its precious Burst Bomb, but I also want to see it have Stamp again like it did on the Kensa in Splatoon 2. I think this combination kit would make the mini very aggressive and make people very happy. Now, the Nautilus is a weapon that loves good spacing. So why not provide a torpedo, that's so you know where your opponents are, and the Zooka, so when you're already away from your opponents, you can fire it right at them. Let's not forget the brand new weapons in the game. For the Stringer, I want to give it a more aggressive kit, as the current one really doesn't do that too well. 
we can give it a splat bomb for versatility, and then the tri -zooka, just like for the Nautilus, to get rid of opponents that are just out of your reach. I wonder how the splat bomb will combo with the bombs that the stringer leaves behind. The Splatana seems like it would love to know where opponents are, seeing as you have to get super duper close to cause a lot of problems. So why not give yourself a wall to escape when things go bad, and also Tenta Missiles so you know where your opponents are. The only drawback being that the Tenta Missiles would take the Splatana players out of the fight for a second or two. Let's finish this up with the Splatoon 2 exclusive weapon classes, starting with the Brellas. For the Splat Brella, I feel like a torpedo would be super duper fun. Opponents would have to decide whether they want to fight you or if they want to fire at that torpedo first. Make things even more difficult by chucking a wave breaker down, and now your opponent has to focus on jumping and firing at your Brella simultaneously? <laughs> what a mess. The undercover Brella can have so much fun with more aggressive kits. After all, you don't lose your Brella unless it breaks. So throw a splat bomb behind you to catch anybody that's running up to you, and then fire your Ultra Stamp to truly get rid of them. <laughs> I'm gonna build a really mean Tentabrella. <laughs> We're gonna give it line marker. That's so it can catch anybody off guard, especially someone who took the brunt of most of a Tentabrella attack. And of course also the big bubbler, so you can be safe whether or not you have your shield out. If your opponents break the big bubbler, you still have another shield anyway. And last but not least, we got the dualies. I feel like the kid on the Splatana, aka the Torpedo and the Ultra Stamp, would be really fun on the short range obnoxious dualies. Torpedo has worked very well with the Dapples in the past, and Ultra Stamp is just a good get out of jail free card. <laughs> I want to use the kit for the dually squelcher to give it back its splat bomb, but instead of giving it an offensive type of special, I want to give it Tacticooler, so not only can it help itself to cause problems, but it can also help out its teammates. The dually squelcher is constantly moving around, so the Tactic Cooler would be very beneficial for it, too. I feel like the Splat Duelies benefited very much from the Burst Bomb, so we'll let it keep that. But I want to give it the Aerospray PG style kit with the Booyah Bomb. That way you fire the Booyah Bomb, you see where anybody is running, and you go and finish them off because, hey, you're, you're a Duelie, you can do that. I want to give the Gluga Duelies a bit of consistency with the help of the Splat Bomb, and then the Killer Whale to take out anybody that might be far away from them. Both of these will take a bit of precision to use right, which is about what you would say about the Gluga Duelies anyway. Now for this Tetra Kit, we're gonna give players a way out. We're gonna give them Curling Bomb if they run through all four of their rolls and they're still in a bad spot. And we're gonna give it the tri -Zooka to get opponents that think they can get out of the way of the Tetra Duelies. Not happening today. But you know what is happening right now? Uh, you made it to the end of the video! Woohoo! Did you like the kits that I put together for these weapons? I think that most of them would be pretty fun for the weapon and wouldn't make them too broken. If you have ideas of your own, please share them with me. And now that I've made this video, I can <laughs> I, I can go watch other people's videos or they did the same thing safely because I didn't want to like accidentally just have my brain think of their ideas instead. Yay! Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to leave a like or subscribe if you want more Splatoon 3 content in the future. Have a good one.